डिफेंस एक्विजिशन काउंसिल हेडेड बाई रक्षा मंत्री सी राजनाथ सिंह हैज अप्रूव आर एफ पी फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ सिक्स सब इनिस एट अप्रोक्सिमेटली कॉस्ट ऑफ फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड करोड़ रुपीज इट इज सच एक्विजिशन अंड स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप मॉडल टू गिव ए बिग बोस्ट टू मेक इन इंडिया इनिशिएटिव In October 2014, the Defence Acquisition Council cleared the P75I state-owned Mazagao Dock, Hindustan Shipyard, Cochin Shipyard, privately owned Larsen and Tubro Pipapap Shipyard were shortlisted to bid for the project in collaboration with a foreign shipyard. But at the end, Abdul and LNT were selected. According to latest reports, following are the likely contenders for the project. According to reports Russia has indicated an undisclosed system based on the Amur 1650 as an official contender for the multi billion dollar project the Amur 1650 is an export version of project 677 the fourth generation diesel electric submarine with future fifth generation Kalina class will bolster the conventional submarine fleet of Russian navy During an interview from the Rubin it was says that Amur 1650 is an advanced conventional submarine capable of fulfilling any mission required from this class of submarine whereas P75 an Indian specific submarine with its own particular requirements and it is therefore another project So if we go by this statement it is clear that whereas Amur 1650 is offered the offer for P75 might be a different design based on this system Amur 1650 has a displacement of 1650 tons when surfaced, a length of 66.7 meters, range of 6000 km and endurance of 45 days. Now coming to the second contender, TKMS is offering six invincible class submarine. The invincible class or type 218 is built by HDW and is the latest conventional submarine platform from Germany with Singapore as first customer of this type the 75 meter long submarine has a surface displacement of 2200 tons and an endurance of 84 days and some experts also believe it feature lithium ion battery as well the previous offer was for type 214 that means an export variant of type 212 From the manufacturer it has been claimed that the AIP is the best available in the market. Our next contender is from Spain. Navantia if i am pronouncing right is offering the S80 plus flight to submarines with air independent propulsion the submarine has a length of 80.81 meter displacement of 2695 ton and endurance of 50 days in future the platform would be able to operate uavs uvs and aws the navantia is also exploring option to install lithium ion battery thus greatly enhancing its capability Now come to the next contender the Dosan An Changho class is likely to be contender from South Korea this advanced submarine from DSME was developed for the South Korean navy and will later also feature lithium ion batteries according to reports the batch 3 will be offered to Indian navy most advanced version of this class and likely to feature a HTS motor for integrated full electric propulsion system as well the 83.5 meter long submarine will have a displacement of 3358 tons and an endurance of 50 days however this submarine will only be ready by 2025 according to reports now coming to the last but not the least france According to reports initially an enlarged version of the Scorpene class was offered but now offered is the SMX3 one of the latest conventional platforms developed it is 85 meter long and has a surface displacement of 3000 tons the French FC2G AIP gives it an endurance of 45 days along with the F21 torpedo and SF39 exocet tube launched cruise missile France has recently offered the naval cruise missile for the land attack purpose as well. The MDL is currently manufacturing six Calvary class submarine under transfer of technology which is a modified version of Scorpene class. So this was a list for potential candidates for the project but we will know the official list only after RFP is placed that's for today guys we'll meet with you to have further discussion on P75i take care bye